The year is 2024, and over here is Silver Run Forest. We only have exactly one year to get this logging company up and running. I took a hefty loan of $3 million to get this company started. Now, it is my job to get this forest completely cleared out as much as I can before the year is over. I will be working at the top of the mountain coming all the way down to the road. Now the plan is simple. I get all these trees moved out. I get paid pretty good. My plan is simple. Since log prices are up, I'm hoping to at least make $4 million by the end of this year. If I don't succeed, well, I'm screwed and I lose everything. Will I succeed in the big logging business or fail? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys are going to like the new series on the channel, make sure you guys do like and subscribe to my channel. Well, good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're on a very special series that I've done about a year and a half ago that I'm going to be slowly bringing back to the channel. Now, we're actually going to be doing this on Silver Run Forest again, like I did like a year and a half ago, just because I really love this map for logging. It's the only map that I know very well for logging for that specific reason. The only downfall to this is I only have a whole year and a half to actually succeed in the logging business um, is because I only took out a three and a half million dollar loan because that's what the bank gave me to start out with and we're almost on our plot of land to build our company. So as you can see, we have a pretty big plot of land and a whole fleet line of logging vehicles and oh, that was super close there. But yeah, we have a whole fleet line of vehicles for logging and a specific reason is I chose this six by six gator is because to get fuel around the uh, logging sites where we're gonna be at. It's a very nice six by six. I got the generator and some logging tools in the back. I think this six by six is gonna be very helpful in the logging area of what we're going to be now since we have a small service vehicle i just went ahead and picked the c7500 service truck uh matching john deere green of course and we have all of our logging tools in the back and service equipment that we need and we have a ladder rack with a ladder on that Alrighty, moving on now we have a chevy silverado lifted up specific for our personal vehicle and logging only of course now since i went with our personal vehicle to be lifted this high and a bumper like that big is because we're going to be out in the woods so we got two new Hollands here one with a tree beyond mini one and i of course for this new holland i picked the wrong rake i wanted the forestry mulcher not this rake that's all right i'll pick a rake up later but yeah as you see we got two new hollands one track and one with no tracks you know the tracks will be a lot more helpful in the woods as well and if we come over here we have the semi with all the bigger equipment now of course with the semi i went ahead and picked a detroit diesel for it and matched the best i can with my silverado we have a huge volvo excavator and a john deere tree cutting tractor i'm sorry i don't know the correct terms i really don't I'm not familiar with a lot of logging and we have a massive wheel loader at the end there but i think enough with that since we took the grand tour of all the equipment that we have and need so far i think what we're going to go ahead and do now is jump up in heaven and get started on building the company the fun part
wasn't happy and she wanted me out Everything about the man she wants love Drinking with the poor Everything she asked I left in the past Just to try to bring her joy For the record It can't be understated Blown up and domesticated Alrighty, well, it's time to bring all the vehicles and equipment inside the gates here. Um, I'm going to take you guys on a tour here in a little bit. Um, there's one part, as soon as you enter the yard, that I am super in love with, and I think it came out super good like the best display that you'll probably ever see for a logging business i tell you what right now so people will be buying firewood and you know just firewood and getting services from me so i'm gonna have to build a office here soon as well to get people and customers all set up and signed up into my system here so i can get customers for logging you know businesses and just customers for firewood hence to set up all the way over there towards the fence which i have to enclose that with a shelter so that equipment doesn't get wet because it was like 10 20 grand for just one of them and i have to get another one built Alrighty, well i'll take you guys on a tour right now this building right here is going to be for service and all my vehicles so i'm going to store all my service vehicles in there for the time being because it only makes sense this building that we're going to be walking to right now is going to be for all of our smaller equipment I have this set here. I still got to move it. It's for going to people who are going to be buying their firewood and stuff like that. So let's go ahead inside this building. So this building, like I said, is going to be for all of our small equipment like lawn tractors, zero turns, our skid steers and skid steer attachments because it only makes sense since it's not that big of a building that we have. Well, it's supposed to be starting to rain soon, so I don't think we're going to get the logging today. So I'm just trying to rush around and give you guys a tour and put all of my equipment away. Well, I was going to show you guys the display last, but this is the display that i came with with so all of our customers can know and see what we're all about now i'm very proud of the display i know it's a little bit small i'm gonna give it time and extend it out and build it out a little bit bigger so you know people can actually see what we are all about all right well i'm gonna go ahead and put all my equipment away i did look at the forecast and in the next hour or two it's gonna start raining and i don't want to leave my equipment sitting out and my semi is still running All right, well, I'm pretty sure this is the last piece of equipment. I went ahead and over back over to the store. I just walked over there and picked up a new skid steer. It's a 893 turbo, I believe, or 863 turbo, kind of an old school skid steer. And we got the forestry mulcher that I needed. Also too, I did end up building a office slash sleeping headquarters i guess you could call it and this is where people are going to be ordering their services and buying firewood off of me so as you can see i got it set up pretty nice best of my abilities i got all the firewood set up right here to drop the firewood off so i think it looks nice and neat so the customers can pick up their firewood that they purchase from me online or in person got garden flowers around the house and the office area and over here i got a shelter built for our sawmill so when we build our firewood we're not doing it getting wet or you know worrying about this equipment getting ruined since it was literally 20 grand a piece but i think that's where we're going to wrap it off for today's video if, if you guys are gonna love the new series coming to the channel let me know down in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys in the next episode